what do you say the three of us set a new Guinness World Record right now? We'll just come up By with something. By doing what? Let's see. Hi, I'm Diana Terranova coming to you live from the red carpet. So Thomas Jane, tonight you're going to be presenting Stanley with his own Guinness World Record for the largest graphic novel ever made for Romeo and Juliet, The War. Well, I'm a huge fan of Stan. I think Stan's a genius. I think what he's contributed to the whole comic book industry is monumental. Yeah. And the characters that he created are genius. I and mean, they're absolutely fantastic. Now I'm going to tell you a little story Please. that you may not know. I am already listed in the Guinness Book of Record three mm -hmm. times for various things. Mm -hmm. This will be the fourth time. I can't wait to see this giant graphic novel. It is the biggest ever, and it's bigger than you. Bigger than me? Yes. Wow. <laughs> is it bigger than Thomas Jane and Hung? I wouldn't know. We have to ask you or some lovely ladies. Ask me about some girls really? and their outfits. I'll, I'll discuss. Uh, I need to know a secret, please. <laughs> I'm really scared and I'm really nervous to ask this, but I heard from the real Stanley, and you can follow him at the real Stanley on Twitter, that like when they saw Thomas Jane in his hot and sexy tight Punisher outfit, that then the casting director said he was hands down their favorite to be in Hung. That casting saw you in your Punisher outfit, and that's why they cast you in Hung. Is it true? Is it true? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I suppose. Would you win your own Guinness World Record, Thomas Jane? Probably, well, yeah, I was thought about that as a kid. Like maybe stuffing as, as many worms as I could in my mouth. Or, or as many Oreo cookies as you could, because that's totally what I was talking about. I wasn't right. talking about that other stuff at all. <laughs> right. No. I don't know. I'd, I'd be a, I would be a far cry from the Guinness Book of World Records in that department, you know. It's something like three and a half feet, you know that, don't you? Really? Yeah. That's, that's a lot of fun. Be interesting for some people. <laughs> yeah, you could wear it as a belt. That's very fascinating, really. Well, what's also fascinating is you in your life. Oh, I couldn't you, agree more. You started in the military, mm -hmm. right? And now you have the Stanley Foundation, which promotes literacy all over the world. And tonight, tell all your fans out there about the John Wayne Cancer Institute. Well, I was with Patrick Wayne the other day, and he was telling us about the Institute. It does a wonderful job. As you know, cancer is one of the most serious problems that we have as far as health is concerned. And whatever money is given to the John Wayne Cancer Institute is used for cancer research, period. So it is one of the most worthwhile charities of all. Well, I'm going to let all these amazing people go inside for the auction. But please, follow Stanley at The Real Stanley. Follow Thomas Jane at Thomas Jane. And please, Google Stanley's Kamikaze Expo because it's coming us up. too at Stanley Kamikaze with a C. Okay. Just like hung is with an H, not just like an L, like you would think, because like that would make like so much more sense. But no, right. kamikaze with a C. Girls, I will see you inside. <laughs> <laughs>